the Fox 5 Studios. This is the Red Zone Sports Show, sponsored by Flowing Tide Pub. Rodriguez second is good. So two possession game. Utah State needs a miracle now. No foul now. Brown hits it across. Brown tries a three. And buries it. 8.4 to go. Foul is called. Oh my goodness. It's on Caleb Boone. So a three-point shot and a foul. And Utah State has a chance to take the lead with 8.4 seconds left. There's nothing to say to the guys after a game like that. To that that there's nothing you can tell an athlete and a player after that. You just gotta tell them you love them and they, they gotta keep working hard. That's because nothing will make, nothing makes you feel better after that. Um, so keep working. We'll get back in the gym tomorrow. I'll get ready to go on a road trip. The running Rebels feeling the pain of their 87 to 86 loss to Utah State. Luis Rodriguez posting on Instagram typing out that one hurt. Keelan Boone also sharing his reaction to the shocking loss last night. Rebel Nation stand up and stay true to the culture. Keelan and his brother Caleb have been a bright spot for UNLV this season as the Rebel Nation witnessed a heartbreaker at the Thomas and Mac on Saturday. And with that, we welcome you into the Reb Zone. Running Rebels head coach Kevin Kruger joining me in studio tonight and like I mentioned coach I don't think the disappointment was felt here in Las Vegas but it was also felt across the nation with several national outlets expressing their feelings really an uncontrollable outcome to last night's game but I want to talk about how this was possibly the best game of the year for you guys with six players and double figures yeah another good one really um you know we built off the New Mexico game and uh, came out ready to play a good Utah State game and uh, just uh a very unfortunate finish, something I've uh, never seen before. Yeah, I showed a little bit about the players posting on social media, but you guys were already back in practice this morning. What response did you see from your team? Um, yeah, like I said last night, there's nothing you can tell an athlete after that. Uh, nothing takes away that hurt. Uh, you know, you go to sleep and hoping you wake up and it, it's a different outcome, but um, it, it, that you got to address it at some point and move on because uh, we've got more challenging games coming. Five fifth year seniors on your team. Jackie Johnson was talking about the maturity of your team and how quickly your guys are able to flip the page. Did you see that flip today? Yeah, a little bit. Again, it's going to be weird when you walk in at first and, uh, and get your feet back going, but uh, we have no other choice. We got to uh, go and get, like I said, get ready for two tough road games. Yeah, the Mountain West really elite this season. The Running Rebels on the road this week facing Boise and Colorado State on the road. But let's check out the highlights from last night's game. The Running Rebels are coming off a dominating 83 to 73 win over New Mexico, looking to continue to dominate in the Mountain West. Rebel Nation dressed up and excited to see UNLV take on number 20 Utah State at the Thomas and Mac. The Rebels come out strong. DJ Thomas, the Las Vegas native, knocks down back to back buckets and UNLV jumps in front 4 to 0 over Utah State Rebels playing with a ton of confidence in the first half. Luis Rodriguez grabbed a team high nine rebounds as Rob Whaley Jr. kicks off the dunk show at the Thomas and Mac. The Rebels not done. Jackie Johnson grabs a rebound, sends it down to Whaley Jr. to Kayla Boone for the massive slam. The Rebels take a 47 to 40 lead over Utah State at the half. UNLV keeps up the energy in the second half. It's the Caleb Boone show at the TNM. Boone becoming a fan favorite after dropping a career Career high 29 points against New Mexico. Later in the second, Boone tips the ball over to DJ Thomas. Thomas sends it down to Jackie Johnson, the speed demon. Johnson going coast to coast, finishing for two. The Rebels are rolling 69 to 61 over Utah State. This game would come down to the final seconds. Luis Rodriguez sinks two free throws, and UNLV is up 86 to 82 with eight seconds to play. Here come the Aggies. Darius Brown knocks down the three ball, and a foul is called on Caleb. Caleb Boone, the Thomas and Mac erupts in booze as this play turns into a five point play for Utah State. Gray Osborne would sink two free throws and the Aggies steal the lead 87 to 86. Final seconds on the clock. Here comes DJ Thomas drives inside looking to get the game winner floats it up for two. No dice. UNLV drops a heartbreaker to Utah State at home 87 to 86. No, again, there's nothing you can say to an athlete after that. Uh, the way that game ended with it being a tough loss and uh, that, that makes anybody feel any better. So uh, again, just went in there, complimented them on playing hard and, and, uh, and competing for 40 minutes and 
you know, like we always say, we want to just give ourselves a chance to win a ball game, and uh, thought thought we did that today. Coach, not the outcome you guys wanted, but really in control of this ball game from the jump. Uh, DJ Thomas right there giving you guys a, a four to zero lead to start the game. What intent? What energy did you see your team come out with? Yeah, just uh, I mean, guys did everything they needed to do to win the game. Uh, I mean, every checklist, uh, every item we needed to do to win it, they did it. And uh, it's just uh, really unfortunate. And it's more than a game for Jackie Johnson the third this season, who has his son Jackie Johnson the fourth by his side this season. We're talking basketball and fatherhood with the Runnin' Rebel Junior, who's made an impact on both ends of the court this season. And the Lady Rebels stay undefeated in conference play this season with two Mountain West wins over San Jose State and Air Force this week. We'll have Lady Rebels highlights and reaction from the team. The Reb Zone is just getting started. We'll be right back. Fox 5, sponsored by Flowing Tide Pub. They got some experienced dudes too. <laughs> Rob Whaley Jr. welcoming you back to the Reb Zone with one of his best dunks of the season over New Mexico. UNLV dominated New Mexico from start to finish 83 to 73 as the Boone Twins put on a show combining for 46 points against the Lobos. Coach, we talked about the physicality your team has to play with when it comes to Mountain West play. What physicality and chemistry are you seeing uh, between the Boone Twins this season? Yeah, they bring a great uh, kind of one-two punch for us. Uh, Caleb's done great in the post, uh, playing closer to the rim. Keelan a little farther out more on the perimeter and uh, it's, it's something that has I think as time has gone on it's proved to be pretty good for us. We're seeing their chemistry on the court really pay off this season but what are you seeing in practice just the connection that they have on and off the court? Uh, just their communication just an understanding of each other and uh, and how things work. Yeah. Before we dive into the highlights, we got a, a look at Rob Whaley Jr. We talk about his physicality. How will he be a threat this season in the Mountain West? Uh, he's just he's something we needed and uh, something we need going forward. You know, he's physical. Um, he throws his body around. He's not scared to to get in the middle and muddy things up. And uh, you know, since he kind of took a little bit of a deep breath there a handful of games ago and uh, has started playing really well. Yeah, exciting. These guys are bringing a fight on the road this week against Boise and Colorado State. Well, let's check out the highlights. At the Thomas and Mac, the Boone Twins always together arm in arm pregame. The Rebels ready to respond after their 72 to 61 road loss at San Diego State. And the Boone brothers get it started for UNLV. Keelan Boone bounces it to his twin. Caleb Boone pushes his way up for the tough bucket. Got to be physical in the Mountain West. The Rebels on the board first. UNLV fighting for every rebound. Rob Whaley Jr. comes up with the offensive rebound, kicks it out to DJ Thomas for three. The Rebels extend their lead over New Mexico 13 to four. UNLV fighting for every bucket against the Lobos. Boone drives inside, throws it out to Thomas. His three ball bounces in, and the Rebels take a 40-38 to lead over New Mexico at the half. It was the Boone show on Tuesday night at the Thomas and Mac. The two combined for 46 points. Caleb Boone risen as a star on this UNLV squad this season. Nothing but confidence from the running Rebels against the Lobos. Rob Whaley Jr. flies up for that one-handed dunk and draws the foul. Whaley going beast mode on the Lobos. Rebels up 69 to 48. Caleb Boone posted a career high 29 points as the Rebels put up a beat down on the Lobos, clinching their first conference win of the season 83 to 73 over New Mexico. Here's more from the Boone Twins. Felt amazing. Uh, I'm just trying to get back in the groove with everybody. Everybody then let everybody's letting me get back into my field. So that's all I could really ask for. Then everybody's trusting me. Then Obviously, we have trust for this guy, so. I haven't been like the really consistent big that they know I can be. And I've been having meetings with all the coaches, talking to them, they've been real with me. So, do I just gotta be real with myself. I've been real with myself after the San Diego State game. And I was like, I, got, I, got, I just gotta be better. I just gotta be aggressive. Like, it doesn't matter how many shot attempts I get. Like, I don't worry about that. I just worry about like being, being a presence. And San Diego State, I wasn't a presence, but Today, I was like, I'm going to make a present somehow, somewhere in this game today. 
Kayla Boone and Keelan Boone, no, no doubt a bright spot on this UNLV roster this season. Spent three seasons together at Oklahoma State. Keelan Boone transferred to Pacific, and they're both back here for their fifth year of college hoops. Coach, we were talking about what a story this is to have the twins on your team. Keelan had to wait for his NCAA eligibility, and now they are really shining together. But want to ask you, uh, maybe the chip on the shoulder that your team had coming off the San Diego State loss. Yeah, I think just the, there was a great understanding of what it takes to, to win conference basketball games. And, uh, and, and so the prep was great. The intent was great. Got off to a great start. And, uh, but the, the, just I think that experience kicked in, um, just understanding what it takes to win. Speaking of their Big 12 experience, what have you heard from your players about going up against the talent in the Mountain West? I think it's just a, it's a great respect level. Um, a lot of times people, you know, if you come from the Big 12 or, or a conference you see on TV every night, on ESPN every night, um, some guys can kind of take a little step back and uh, but this group hasn't done that they know how hard it is they respect it um, and, and and they appreciate that and so they're ready for the fight of it yeah the Mountain West just as talented as it was last year no doubt every conference game this season will be a battle again this year well coming up next we're going one on one with the speed demon Jackie Johnson he's a walking bucket for UNLV and also is having one of the best years of his life being a new father to his four month old son Jackie Johnson the fourth we're talking basketball and fatherhood with the junior run and rebel next on the red zone you're watching the Rev Zone Sports Show on Fox 5, sponsored by Flowing Tide Pub. Yeah, for sure. Like, I feel like anybody who knows me knows I'm close to my mom. I don't know if you can make a mom and a son as close as we are, but yeah, so I do it for, for her, my, you know, my girl, my son, my, just my family in general. Welcome back to the Rev Zone. You just heard from the Run and Rebels guard, Jackie Johnson III, a junior on this year's Run and Rebel squad that has one year under his belt with Kevin Kruger and has really shown his growth on both ends of the court this season. Uh, tonight, we're getting to know more about him, his son, and his family on the Rev Zone. But, Coach, his growth is evident night in and night out with you guys, playing a game-high 29 minutes against Utah State. Where are you seeing his growth this season? Um, just a lot of things that have grown over the last year to now. Um, just getting better, getting on the same page, continuing to work. And uh, I think his uh, is just his uh, production have, has gone up since he got here. Yeah. Yeah, and definitely this year he's giving it his all for his son and his family. Great time talking with Jackie Johnson. Here's more from the Junior Run and Rebel. First off, I want to talk about how this season is different with your son here in Las Vegas. It's been great. It's, that's been honestly the biggest blessing of all, just being able to look up and, and see him in the stands for sure. Talk about naming him Jackie and being the fourth in your family. Yeah, I feel like, you know, as a dad, like our dads, we all want our you know son to be named after us. So, uh, it was a no-brainer. Like, yeah, it was a no-brainer for sure. He's gonna be named after me. Talk to me about your day-to-day. -day. You know how it's changed having your son, and maybe when you're out here, you feel a little bit more of an importance out here. No, for sure. Like when I'm out here, it's definitely like more of a, a focus, more just keyed in and locked in on what I need to do. Not only for him, but on the court, in my day-to-day -day life, for my girl, like whatever it is, just really making sure that they're taken care of and they have all what they need. You guys have had some big wins this year, knocking off a ranked Creighton, um, knocking off New Mexico. What are you seeing from your team as of late? Uh, resilience. Yeah, I feel like we are uh, a very resilient group, and I feel like we take honestly like what we do in practice and just apply it on the court, where the scout, you know, how we run the plays, just things like that. As we get further into Mountain West play, you know, what do you want to see from yourself this season? Just consistency. You know, what I'm saying just bringing on offense. As you know, like everybody know, I can shoot it and score. So just. Impacting the game on both sides, just being consistent as possible. I want to talk a little bit about family. You know, we were talking about our moms, and you know, it's bigger than us. Um, when you're in Vegas, you're far away from home. Uh, you know, are you giving it your all for your family out here? Yeah, for sure. Like, I feel like anybody who knows me knows I'm close to my mom. I don't know if you can make a mom and a son as close as we are, but yeah, so I do it for, for her. My, you know, my girl, my son, my, just my family in general. What can a young boy back in Wichita, what can he learn from your journey? Kind of just being just resilient, honestly, just never giving up, just, just staying the course, honestly. That's really what it comes down to. Um, it's going to be good days, it's going to be bad days, it's going to be in between, it's going to be days you want to give up. Just staying the course, honestly, that's really just what I want somebody to learn from me, honestly.
really beautiful story from Jackie Johnson. Uh, thankful he's able to open up to me about his mom and his son and his family. Really great to hear these players' stories off the court. But coach, uh, we know he can shoot. You know, he's an automatic three from the corner. But on the defensive end of the ball, where has he gotten better defensively this season? He's become kind of a spark plug for us. He uh, guards the ball. The, the full length of the court and it kind of sets the tone for our defense and it's it's a role he's embraced and and really excelled at. I want to talk to you about what you're seeing from him as far as his maturity, his leadership, the mannerism that he has when when I sat down with him, very impressed with his mannerisms. What does he bring to practice? Uh, experience. He's older and uh, you know he's been with us now. This is his second year with the coaching staff so uh, you know there's an understanding of uh, uh, of what we want, what he wants, and uh, how we can blend those two together and, and make things work. How does Jackie provide depth to your team when sometimes there's injuries that are uncontrollable? Well, he's just had a great year. Um, he's been ready from uh, the first game, and uh, you know he comes off the bench and brings a, a huge uh, brush of energy and, and picks up the ball and makes shots, and uh, he's something that uh, I think good teams have, and, um, and he's done that for us, and especially as we've gotten to continue to get better. Yeah, no doubt. Jackie Johnson, I called him a walking bucket on tonight's Reb Zone, and I'm ready to see what he brings in Boise on Tuesday at 7 p.m. Well, more UNLV hoops to break down here on the Reb Zone. The Lady Rebels clinched their 14th win of the season over Air Force this weekend and dominated San Jose State at home on Wednesday. We'll hear more from the back-to-back -back Mountain West champs next on the Reb Zone, and we're packing our beanies, jackets, scarves, gloves, everything I got in my closet for our week-long road trip with the running Rebels. UNLV on the road at Boise and Colorado State this week. We're talking more Mountain West play with head coach Kevin Kruger next. You're watching the Rev Zone Sports Show on Fox 5. Sponsored by Flowing Tide Pub. The Lady Rebels clinched two Mountain West wins this week against San Jose State and Air Force, improving to 4-0 in conference play. We're taking a look back at the Lady Rebels' dominating 91-55 win over San Jose State at the Cox Pavilion on Wednesday night. And Kiara Jackson, the junior Rebel, gets it started for UNLV, knocking down her first three of the night. UNLV jumps in front over San Jose State 5-2. And welcome back, Alyssa Durazo Frescas. Frescas doesn't look like she's missed a beat off an ankle injury last week the Lady Rebels lead 32 to 8 after one second quarter another big three from Jackson the Lady Rebels knocked down six three-point buckets in the first half and dominated San Jose State 55 to 22 at halftime the Rebels keep their foot on the gas in the third quarter Ashley Scoggin drives inside hits him with that reverse layup too smooth from Scoggin Lady Rebels dominating the Spartans 57 to 24 nothing but one nice bucket after another from the freshman point guard Amarachi Kimson the Rebels up 37 after three Star of the night was the Las Vegas native Desiree Young. Young posted a game high 24 points on 11 of 13 shooting. Lady Rebels dominate the Spartans from start to finish 91 to 55. We're hungry. We're hungry, you know, and we have to be hungry because everyone else is hungry. Um, because we have we have more to do. Uh, we have a championship we want to win, multiple, um, and we have further we want to go even before that. So we have to stay hungry. We have to find different ways to uh, create that hunger um, and put that chip on our shoulders so that, you know, we keep the urgency throughout the year. I mean, you know, we want to win one every year and this could be my final year playing at UNLV and I want to do great and I want our team to do great and I think the success has been great throughout the year so going to the NCAA and you know winning the Mountain West tournament is the first thing but going to the NCAA is the second. The back-to-back -back Mountain West champions are hungry for more this season. The Lady Rebels on the road on Wednesday at San Diego State. They'll wrap up their week with a home game against New Mexico on Saturday at the Cox Pavilion. And Fox 5 is the only station in town that will be on the road with the Runnin' Rebels this week, packing up for a cold week with the Runnin' Rebels as they get ready to face Boise State on the road Tuesday at 7 p.m. And then head down to Colorado State, Fort Collins, to face 17th ranked Colorado State on Friday night. Coach, it doesn't get easier in the Mountain West. We know how talented this league is, but want to talk about what you're seeing from your team right now in practice coming off the Utah State loss. I'm just working at it, getting better. Um, you know, it would have been great to walk in, of course, with a winning feeling, but at the same time, uh, the, the prep wouldn't have changed. Uh, just getting ready for a tough road trip, of course, starting with Boise, so doing everything we can to, to get ready to, 
to have a great battle up there. Yeah, Boise State undefeated at home this season, 12 and 4 overall, 3 and 0 in the Mountain West. What is it going to take from your guys to knock them off at home? Uh, we're just going to have to keep doing what we've been doing and, and take it up a notch, of course, on the road. Uh, road games are really tough to win, so we're going to have to be in, in tune with each other and, and compete for 40 minutes. Well, you got all of Rebel Nation behind you. You guys got all the country behind you as we're ready to see the Run and Rebels knock off Boise State and Colorado State on the road. We're packing our bags on the road with Kevin Kruger and his guys. We'll see you next Sunday on the Rev Zone.